Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This one is our one month review of the T9 Hen unit and it's my final review because I'm taking it out of the Forerunner. I am putting back in the stock head unit and Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto that's compatible with the stock head unit uh, from Beat Sonic USA, but that's gonna be in its own video. So I wanna give you guys all my final thoughts just in case you still haven't picked one up yet. And there it is in its OEM style. All right, time to get this thing out. The thing that I love most about the T9 head unit is just how OEM it looks. It looks very, very good. Uh, you know, that Halo 10 by Alpine is awesome because it's a big, huge screen, but it covers up some vents. And you know, and you could put in any other double din, replace this and get a panel that basically houses the double din. It's just too much plastic. This was like the first of its kind, you know, that just looked the OEM part. And even compared to the 2020 Forerunners, this actually looks very similar to how the new Forerunners are actually coming out. So now final thoughts. And before we get into that, cause I know I'm gonna get the comments. Uh, hey John, can I buy it from you? What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna be giving it away, okay? So Taco Twans and I, we're gonna be teaming up again. More details to come. It'll be its own separate video for you guys. Uh, yes, it's used, but it was only lightly used by a month and I take care of my stuff. So in final review for it, the price has gone down, so it's even better, but I can still recommend it to you guys. The only complaints I had with it is still the Apple CarPlay. Uh, it would skip sometimes. Granted, it was wireless, which was so much better than having to deal with a dongle and everything, but it would just skip sometimes. So you would be listening to Spotify or a podcast, anything like that. And if you had Waze or something else going, even if you didn't have maps going, sometimes your radio would skip. For this one being wireless CarPlay, it's very, very good. Just still does glitch sometimes. The FM radio, it keeps information. The clock keeps everything that I really had issues with with the T8, if you guys watched any of those videos. That has pretty much been rectified with this. The quality control was better on this unit. There's no dust behind the uh, behind the screen. One thing that my wife actually pointed out uh, with one of the issues with this thing was when you're talking on it. So Bluetooth works as Bluetooth, but it just, with the built-in mic that this thing has, you kind of sound a little far away. But other than that, you know, you're still audible. People can still hear you. There's not a lot of background noise. It just sounds like you're very far away from your phone. Like you have it on speakerphone kind of, and it's just, you know, five, 10 feet away from you is how this built-in microphone works. But a way to rectify that is just have an external mic and it'll work perfectly fine. But this thing for its new price, I think it's at 475 at the time of the recording of this video. Uh, it's pretty good. And then in my install video of the original one for this, I was getting a lot of questions as to people saying, well, you recommend it, but you wouldn't buy it for yourself. And the reason for that is because I like OEM head units. I like my Entune. A lot of people don't care for their Entune, so this is a perfect solution for you if you don't like your Entune. Uh, a lot of other people also enjoy making a whole dashboard for it. Uh, I shouldn't say dashboard, but a uh, custom launchers for it. So you can have all your stuff in a custom home screen and all that. I wanted to test it as is for you all. But when people start, you know, tweaking the RAM or tweaking the performance on this, you know, big Android users, I'm personally iOS, so I don't, I don't do all that Android stuff, but it is an Android based OS. So people are getting more out of their T9 head units, you know, map systems, especially if you have a SIM card in the back of that thing. So the T9 head unit is very, very good. Uh, when my wife used it for a week, she said she actually really enjoyed it a lot better than the T8. The radio worked for her, CarPlay worked for her. She said once CarPlay stopped working um, and then it just completely didn't recognize her phone until she got back into the car and it like fully reset itself. But other than that, uh, Bluetooth worked for her. CarPlay skipped a little bit, actually, she said too. So she noticed that that skipping and then just making phone calls, people said to her that she sounded like she was far away from the phone. So those were her only uh, gripes about it that were bad. So that was cool that we got her weeks of information for that. So guys, down in the description, I will leave the playlist for you know both the TA and T9 if you guys are still interested in this thing. Uh, if all you want is just Apple CarPlay, there's tons of ways just to get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I'm gonna put the OEM one in now and hook up this Beat Sonic plug and play kit and then I'll get that video out for you guys. So if you all are new around here, please feel free to subscribe, like this video if the whole T9 information uh, helped you all out 
and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.